phone line. Listen to Brother Boo Book Line. Now, there are many people today is asking me, why is it that a pastor for 15 years and now serving his God in his own church, which is known as the Roman Catholic Church. So, I will give you the reason why. So, what I've said, this is the turning point. Now, when I was in Korea, actually, I was a pastor for, uh, for five years and uh, 12 years here in Cebu. When I was in Korea, this is uh, the situation why I returned to this faith because of Mother Mary. Well, waiting my time to talk or to speak because our church is just walking distance away from my house. So I prepare my suit like this and I iron my inner clothes. And after for a while, I sit down and relax. And then later on, I saw a big light, a big brilliant light. And then later on, the face of a woman appeared. I never recognized that one at first because as a Protestant, as a Presbyterian, we only focus to Jesus Christ, but I never knew that it was the mother of God that I saw, not just only in a vision, but very clear to my eyes. And then later on, the light becomes bigger and bigger, and I found out that she was wearing a white clothes with a blue sash like this, and she opened her hands, and she smiled at me, and then I recognized that it was the mother of God. And, you know, he is the Blessed Virgin Mary. And because of that, there is something struck down inside my heart. I could not resist, but I keep on crying, crying, crying. Why? Why is it like this? And I talk to God, why, Lord? I am a previous Presbyterian pastor for 15 years. And then I saw this uh, uh, this vision. Or I don't know, Lord, why? why? I don't understand. And I know this is the Blessed Virgin Mary. That's why I talk to God. And then... I went to my church, I cried and I cried because of what I saw. That's what I have said, there is happiness. There is a, a, a situation that I could not imagine that deep inside my heart, there is someone that filled in the vacuum. And I believe it was the mother of God. And then I start preaching. While preaching, my mind is keep on talking to her. Why, do, why is it that you appear? Why is it that uh, uh, you appear this kind of and you smile at me? What is the message? But you know what happened when I delivered the message of God, the word of God? I don't understand why the people is crying. In my mind, I thought they cried because they don't understand my English. But I realized that it was the power of the Holy Spirit that is in the life of Mother Mary. Because the Bible says, during the appearance of the angel Gabriel to Mother Mary, during the Annunciation, the angel declared, that the Holy Spirit will overshadow you. The word overshadow meaning you will be clothed by the Holy Spirit. And not only that, the Holy Spirit will abide in you, meaning that the Holy Spirit will reside in your heart. In our translation as a Protestant, the word abide meaning it can stay in you forever. And this is the reason why I come up to my mind, this is the reason why, why we may able to talk why may be able to ask help for Mother Mary? Because of that Holy Spirit that is in the life of Mother Mary. And that Holy Spirit will not depart from the life of our mother. Because this is the connecting line in which you and I can talk to Mama Mary and ask in her intercession. So we should be thankful to God that because of her yes, the baby boy Jesus Christ became flesh, dwelt among us and will receive salvation. Therefore, Mama Mary is part of God's plan for salvation to all mankind. Without Mother Mary, there is no Jesus Christ in the flesh. Without Mother Mary, there is no two is Petros, there is no Peter, there is no Pope, there is no priest, and there is no church, and there is no even Protestant, because Protestant just came out from our church. They came from our church. They just separated. They start their own uh, congregation under a movement. So because of our mother, everything existed. As what we saw right now, kapatid, yung makita natin sa church, that because of Mother Mary. 
and the one that is when you attend church and the one that is next to you the reason why he or she attended the church that's because of that mother mary mother mary is the author of everything when it comes to celebration you know what the bible says also that the declaration of the, the angel gabriel he said that blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit thy womb jesus the two are blessed you cannot separate jesus christ from mother mary when you look at mother mary look at mother mary and jesus as one in humanity they are both blessed if jesus christ is holy of course mother mary is holy and that's the reason we believe that mama mary is a, uh, we believe in her immaculate birth that she is free from stain free from original sin because she was designed already by god that no stain or sin can enter into her life meaning she is spotless blameless she is holy because of jesus christ because the one who produces jesus christ is holy and that's the reason why jesus christ also is holy and from now on as a as an opposer of mother mary before now we propagate mama mary we share mother mary that's why many people amaze why is it that this man as a pastor speak about mother mary i am no longer a pastor for a congregation i am no longer a pastor for the denomination but i work for god's glory in her church the church of our mother which is the holy roman catholic church that was being established by the lord jesus christ 2000 years ago so with these brothers and sisters in the lord we should be thankful that mama mary is blessed an old generation, sabi ni Elizabeth, an old generation will call you blessed. The question here, sino ang nagsabi, sino ang nag-declare na Mama Mary is blessed? Tayo lang mga katoliko. The non-Catholic, the Protestant, they don't call Mama Mary as blessed. We just ignore her. We just set aside her. We don't even uh, allow ourselves to, to go deeper and study the book of Luke regarding the Mama Mary. But once you go deeper and study and exegete what is written in the book of Luke, especially about our mother, you will know the truth and the truth will set us free. That's the reason why as a Protestant before, now a Catholic, we rejoice in our God of our salvation because this is the only church has his mother. Sabi ni Pope Francis, a church without a mother is an orphan. We should be thankful as a children of God, we are not orphaned. We are blessed by God. We are protected by the Holy Spirit. We have a mother. We have a priest. We have the seven sacraments. We have a church. So, ulang nagkulang sa ating kapatid. That's why we should go on with our Catholic faith because this is the church of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we should be thankful that Mama Mary, I believe, she is with us right now. I urge you, I challenge you, once you are inside your home, in your church, in your work, wherever you go, Call the Mother of God because she is the easiest way to answer your prayer. Where can we find that one? In the book of John chapter 2. When the, the wine is no is empty, the jar is empty, there, there was no more wine, and the apple and the apostles and disciples asked, he come to Mama Mary and said, There is no more wine. And what the, what does Mary did? He come nearer to his son. He, 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 she said, My son, we have no more enough wine, no more wine. And you know what happened? To make the story short, to make the story para bang ma ano natin, ma complete lahat. Jesus right there and there because of her mother. Jesus changed water into wine because of Mother Mary. Now, therefore, the only person that can change the plan of God is no other than the Mother of God, the Mother of Jesus Christ, our Mother. And Mother of God. This is only a title, but this title, it gives meaning a lot into our lives as a Catholic. My brothers and sisters in the Lord, I am so thankful and we are so blessed. And we are blessed as a converted pastor, embrace the Catholic faith, and, uh, and because of what we discover, we believe that this is the Church of God. Thank you and God bless us all. Amen and amen.